Chamber of Commerce, Terrace Aarons. Terrace, welcome back. Uh, yep, thanks for having me. Yeah, how did the uh, sounds of summer go? Sounds Sights and sounds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. It's a tongue twister. Uh, it went great. Yeah, we uh, we had great attendance and a lot of good music, good bands, great weather. Only had to move indoors once, which is always nice. And uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's always a, a just a wonderful time. Yeah, yeah, I had a chance to go to just one yeah. this year. One was, of the Thursdays. Yeah. Yep. And it was it was hot. Yeah, yeah. There's always a couple of those. I, this year we didn't have any that were brutal. I've had ones in the past where it's like 98 out, you know, and whatnot. But uh, Michiganders are tough. We know how to deal with the heat. We know how to deal with the cold. We figure it out. Yeah. All right. So now we've got fall weather, uh, yes. and we've got some uh, fall events. We sure do. Yeah. This Saturday is the Backyard Beer Garden happening uh, right downtown Chelsea, in Palmer Commons. There you go. Uh, yeah, lots of great stuff happening. It's a, it's a $5 cash entry. Uh, you have to be 21 and up, so this is an adults-only event this year. Um, and uh, yeah, we've got a bunch of games. Basically, you know, a lot of communities, and including us, love live music. And that's a big part of what all our festivals and stuff are. Uh, especially, you know, Sounds and Sights, for instance, as we just referenced. But um, they are everywhere. There's a lot of competition in the live music festival <laughs> racket if you will um so the backyard beer garden kind of was an idea to do something a little bit different this is our fifth annual year uh we're very excited that it's done so well that we get to continue doing it but basically we fill the palmer commons with over 20 oversized giant yard games uh everything from a giant snook ball which is like soccer pool to uh giant darts to you know we have a giant pong toss it's like beer pong but we use 50 gallon barrels and dodgeballs <laughs> instead uh, all sorts of different things like i said over 20 different games we obviously have the classics like foaling and cornhole fricket can jam um, we have giant flip cup just a ton of different stuff all the games are free to play so it's just the five dollar cash admission to get in uh, there's some of our volunteers there that was i think year two they're rocking uh, the the 2021 edition volunteer t-shirt um, but yeah, you come on in and then obviously we've got some great food vendors there this year. We've got the Grateful Crow doing sushi bowls and sushi burritos. We got, uh, we have um, uh, Thompson's Pizza and Sup Dogs and Chelsea Catering and Brownies and Rice Krispie Treats. So many different uh, things you can come in and try. And then obviously drinks. So many different options for drinks. It wouldn't be a beer garden without it. So this year we've got the New Holland Ichabod uh, pumpkin ale for people that are into that fall beer thing. We got the Upper Hand Deer Camp, a couple IPAs from Three Floyds, uh, a Detroit Lager for someone who likes a simpler beer, some long drinks, some zero sugar, three kinds of wine, three different cocktails, just tons of options. So whatever your fancy, cocktail, wine, beer, long drink, seltzer. Uh, then this year, for the first time ever, we're actually going to have non-alcoholic beer as well. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah, and I believe the science has been uh, improving, and uh, there are some that uh, even hardcore beer drinkers love the taste of better than regular beer. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll so take it. Check it out. Yeah. Now, uh, we saw uh, volunteer shirts from a couple years ago. What's this year's uh, volunteer shirt look like? It is right there. Oh. Yeah, so that's our logo for this year. Um, it's super fun watching people go, oh, I really like that logo. And then we say, yeah. You get it? It's a bear and a deer. It's a beer. And they go, oh, didn't even realize that. Like it even more now. And there's me being a goofball, uh, trying to rally people to the cause. So yeah, if you're interested in volunteering, we still have plenty of slots open. Volunteering gets you one of these awesome t-shirts that you can only get by volunteering and uh, free admission. And we've got spots that are as short as an hour and 15 minutes. You just come by and help us hand out beers for a little bit and uh, get free admission and then enjoy the rest of the event when your shift's done. Can't beat that deal. Yeah. I like the hours, uh, 3 p.m. to 10 p.m. So you got the afternoon, you got the evening. Yeah. It's got, uh, sounds to me kind of like a uh, tailgate kind of. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Although, very specifically, <laughs> this is a bye week for U of M and MSU. Perfect. So no football game. So you got no excuse. Come on out. Yeah. Come come hang with us instead. You're not going to miss anything. No. So um, the... Uh, games, I understand all of them except Fricket. What is that? Fricket is uh, Fricket's a fun one. It's um, you take those, you know, those orange uh, uh, poles that you use to tell people where your driveway is when they're plowing. Yes. 
big long arch poles. So you stick two of those in the ground, you put a solo cup on each one, you got them just about wide as a frisbee, <laughs> and you put another set down the other way, people chuck the frisbee, if it goes between you get points, if you hit the stick and the cup falls you get a point, but if the other person catches it before it hits the ground, <laughs> just that kind of whole thing. Uh, one of the things we do very specifically is every game has very detailed instructions and rules for the people that want to read those. Uh, you can also grab a frisbee and make your that own That would game. be the women. Anybody. Oh, you, you would be surprised. Uh, some of the games definitely walk up and go, I don't even, never even heard of this. We'd try to get creative. We add games every year. This year we added a game called Battle Toss, which uh, isn't even showing up until Friday because it's brand new and we had to put it on pre-order and it's supposedly going to be here just in time, but uh, I've never seen it before. It's kind of like a cross between Beer Pong and Connect Four and this whole thing. So really excited to see how that one plays out, but um, it's just a blast. That sounds like a reason just that to go mm -hmm. and check out whatever that is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever that is, along <laughs> yeah. with a bunch of other ones. All right, sounds like fun. And uh, tell us about the uh, the Palmer Commons because uh, you've taken uh, you've taken advantage of what had been some dead space. Yeah, so the Palmer Commons used to be uh, Palmer Ford. Mm -hmm. Obviously, owned the entire area. This is all before my time. So if anybody's out there fact checking, and I've got something it wrong, was, it was Michigan's oldest Ford dealer. That is what I've been told. Yeah. That's what I've been told. Uh, at some point, it was sold to the city, and the DDA of Chelsea converted it into a park. Um, and that's basically what it is. It's a big open yard. It's got lots of parking. Really nice restroom facility, which is great for us for live events. And uh, it's, uh, it's really just a, a wonderful space. There's actually a pavilion going to be built there, hopefully by the end of this year. So in the future, we'll have even a little more cover and need a few less tents. And uh, yeah, the city's done a great job of setting it up with all sorts of power options and things so we can run food trucks and all that kind of stuff. Cool. Well, it's a wonderful you, space. Yeah, and the weather forecast for Saturday, mm -hmm. awesome. Yep, yep. Now, uh, but wait, there's more. You've got uh, next month something cool. And then, of course, we're into the holiday shopping oh, yeah. season. Yep, so uh, next month um, we've got Wine, Women, and Shopping coming into its 19th year in Chelsea, which is pretty impressive. Uh, we'll have to do something special next year for the 20th, but it's always a good event regardless. Uh, it's sponsored by the McKernan Realty Group, and basically it's just a day of wine dining and shopping in Chelsea. The people come out in droves. We have some giveaways and contests and gift card giveaways, swag, things like that, and you just pop by every shop and, and see what they've got going on. The beautiful thing about Wine, Women, and Shopping is it really is an event put on by the merchants. You know, I market it and the chamber works to, to make sure people know about it, but in all reality, when you get there, you'll see all the hard work's put in by our, our local mm -hmm. merchants and vendors and stores, and, and they really want to put on a good show for you. Well, yeah. I've never been because, uh, well, it's, it's, it's uh, wine, women, and shopping, so. All but, are welcome. <laughs> but my wife has gone several times, yes. so I know it's a great, it's a great time. Yep. Now, even though we're just uh, days away from uh, the backyard beer garden, you can still volunteer as yes. of this late date. Yeah, yeah, that would be great. We, we'd love to have you if you visit uh, ChelseaMish.com or it looks like QR code is on your screen right now. If you scan that, it'll take you to the website and there'll be a link to click for volunteering. And uh, we'd love to have you come down. You know, it takes, a, it takes an army to put these kind of things on and, and make it safe and fun for all. And uh, we'd love to have you join us, so please do. Great deal, it's just five dollars. Yeah. I got to give a shout out to our presenting sponsors yeah. as well, Devil's Haircut and Crazy Diamond. Not only the presenting sponsor this year, but they have been the presenting sponsor since this event started five, actually six years ago. Took a year off for COVID, uh, but uh, but it's just been great to have them come back year after year. It's wonderful community partners do a lot, and uh, this has been one they've held on to from the beginning. It's been awesome. Wonderful. Well, it sounds like a great fit. Yeah. Yes, it is. Great to see you. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me, as always. Yeah, have a great event. Uh, the Backyard Beer Garden Saturday. Uh, sign up as a volunteer or just sign up as a, as a guest. Sounds like you're going to have a blast. Yeah, and report back. I want to hear more about this uh, newest game that's being added. <laughs> we'll do. Next time I'm in, we'll talk about it. All right. Thanks, All right. Terrace. Thanks, Bart. Uh, Terrace Aarons, Executive Director of the Chelsea Area Chamber of Commerce.